Welcome to Blender Tutor. My name is Tom, and if you haven't heard yet, geometry nodes are now officially, unofficially here. You can now download the Blender 2.92 Alpha, which will give you access to the still in development geometry nodes. Geometry nodes are a part of the Everything Nodes project, which will, when it's completed, it'll basically allow you to control pretty much every aspect of your content creation in Blender procedurally with the node system. Kind of like how you could already build procedural materials with the uh, material nodes. And that might sound a little confusing at first, but basically the reason that's exciting is currently the only way to procedurally model in Blender without either a Python script or an add-on is to use the modifiers, which are pretty limited in what they can do with the geometry. But with geometry nodes, once they're fully implemented, you'll be able to fully model and animate just with the node system. With geometry nodes, an artist will be able to create much more complex geometry procedurally, which means it'll be completely non-destructive. You'll be able to tweak anything at any time with the node setup instead of having to go into edit mode and adjust things or undo or duplicate a model and have a backup. You can see examples of what this can be used for in other 3D software like Houdini which has been doing this for a while. Here's an example of a cool tower being built procedurally with nodes in Houdini and you could even animate it to build up over time. A link to this video is in the description if you want to watch more of it. So the lead developer of the Everything Nodes project is the same developer that originally created the Animation Nodes add-on which is an awesome free add-on for Blender, which is great for motion graphics, and it lets you do a lot of things that would be either really difficult or impossible without the add-on. One of the things I've used it for is to use a, a particle system to create rigid bodies in a scene, which is how I created my lemon rim animation. To download the Blender 2.92 Alpha, just go to blender.org slash download, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and click download Blender Experimental. And then the very top option right now, which is the early December, is the Blender 2.92 Alpha. So just download that for your operating system. And straight out of the box, you'll have access to the Geometry Node Editor. You can just create a new workspace and open up the Geometry Node Editor. And with that open, you could select any piece of geometry. So I'll take the default cube and now I could transform, I could scale, I could rotate, and I could even animate those properties with the nodes. Right now, the geometry nodes are kind of limited in their abilities, but over time, they're gonna be adding a lot more. But if you're interested in seeing what they're capable of, you could download a few uh, sample projects from Blender's website, such as the Pebble Scattering Project. And you could kind of go in there and see how they've built this setup. And you could even adjust things yourself and see what each node does. So like I said, this is currently in development still. It will be in the official build of Blender 2.92, which is scheduled to come out sometime in, I believe, early 2021. And once that comes out, it should have more geometry nodes available and you'll be able to do hopefully a lot more with it. If you'd like more information about the geometry nodes, you can go to the Blender development blog, which has a couple posts about what they're doing right now in the development of it and the use cases they're testing for. So this is being developed alongside a new Blender Studio short animation. Uh, which is called Sprite Fright. And they're kind of using the development of this film to see how the geometry nodes can help in the production of a short film. On the blog, they currently have a few uh, use cases that they're already working on for this short film, such as pebble scattering, flowers and tree scattering, tree bark, moss on the trees, uh, campfire, so they're gonna have Mantaflow integration in this project, hairspray, so they're gonna have dynamic particles. So. I'd recommend checking this article out as well. I'll have that in the description. So yeah, that is a quick overview of the geometry nodes. It is really exciting to see where this is going and it's just awesome to see how quickly Blender adds these new features. Let me know below if you like this new format for my videos. And make sure to comment if you have any questions about the geometry nodes or if you'd like to see a more in-depth video about them. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.